So you can see now we've got the geometry for the connectors or the fasteners that we want to use to connect the rib to the spar, or ribs to the spars I should say. Uh, so a couple of steps here. So first of all we're going to create points uh, on each discrete component uh, where those curves penetrate the, um, the surface. So do that for the uh, both for the front and the rear spar, or the forward and aft spar, I should say. Uh, so if you zoom in, we can see that we've got those points created on those surfaces. And then we'll take those points and use the uh, mesh control. So effectively defining a hard point for the mesh to respect to hit those fastener nodes. Or fastener positions, I should say. Okay. Um, I'm doing this manually. Uh, we can automate all of this again using the Python capability. Uh, so huge amounts of time. Uh, we can remesh locally if we want to improve element quality. It's pretty pretty straightforward to do this kind of thing. Okay, so repeat the mesh controls on the on the aft uh, joint. Uh, so pick the pick the points, pick the surfaces. The mesh gets updated. Uh, so we're not having to click back and forth in the browser to delete meshes and shift nodes and all that. It's all handled automatically for us. Okay. Um, so once we've got those those hard points defined, we've got a fastener utility that's uh, been written uh, again using Python. So we're going to create some bolts, uh, M5 bolts, uh, using a flexible link, which is a, a sort of bar type connection, a diameter of two and a half mil, and then a tolerance to to snap to between discrete points. So we just select all the fastener points, hit the go button, and then the fasteners will be built. So the model is just searching through, uh, looking for points within that tolerance to tie uh, together. So just OK to the, um, the output message. And there you go. You can see all those fasteners have been created. OK. Uh, we've got a couple of regions where we've got additional fasteners that have jumped gaps, as it were, between the, the two discrete components so we can just switch the um, model selection again using the, the cursor um, to pick out fasteners and then we can just delete the ones we don't want okay so a couple in there i hope you found this interesting if you'd like to develop your apex usage head over to our site where you'll find many online learning opportunities